All right, thanks for tuning in to this One Cool Thing podcast on the rich text editor in a Canvas assignment. So you'll see this generic uh, text editor in anything in Canvas, whether it's an announcement or a discussion, uh, you're doing a page uh, or a quiz or other, other examples. So uh, I want to walk through all the different things you can do to really give uh, depth to the assignment or thing on Canvas. So on the top, you'll recognize a lot of the same stuff you would see in a Word doc, so bold, italicized, underline. You can change background color, and you can uh, adjust justification, indent. You can also do subscript and uh, superscript, uh, bullets. And then here you start getting some more edits. So you have the ability to uh, insert a table, which is kind of cool. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag this down so we can see a little bit more. What I've done is I've actually already gone through and I've added some of these things uh, so I don't have to take too much time doing it. But you can insert media. So you could uh, find a, a, a source. You can get the embed code from a website or uh, you can find an alternative source. But here you can just plop in a YouTube video. So here's how, how I did that. You can also provide a link. So any URL, any website, uh, you can insert the link. Now, the way you can do this is you can type your word, highlight that, then come over here and get your link, and then you would paste the link right there. In this case, it's a YouTube video, so it'll actually uh, show a thumbnail. But if this was, say, a blog post, I could take this URL, insert it right there, and now it just says the text, but if I click on it, it will open up that, that post. So I can provide links. I can embed an image. So here this could be uh, the URL that I find online. So if I get the URL address of that image, if I've already put an image in Canvas, I can find it in my course files, and I can also search for Flickr images that I could then embed. I can specify the dimensions and then I hit update. So here I can embed those pictures of sunglasses. Okay, here I uploaded an image, so I can also um, there's also an option to if I go to Canvas, I can select upload file and I can I can find the photo. So Here's the, the photo that I already uploaded. So that's another way that you can uh, edit it. Okay. Continuing on, you can add an equation. So here you can see an equation that I made. Basically what I did is I just went to the insert math equation, and then you have these different graphics, and you can start inserting your equations. So you can uh, probably not do every kind of math equation, but at least you can do some basics. Uh, YouTube, here you can basically search the YouTube video. So rather than having to go to YouTube and find your link, you could just search for um, you can search for uh, the video you're looking for and then hit embed and then embed that, that video, like my TED Talk. Uh, you can also search on uh, Vimeo, so right here, same sort of thing, it's another video platform. Um, continuing on, so this one right here, you have more external tools. So here, if you've linked to some of the external tools that link with Canvas, now you can add them. The one that I would show you uh, that you'd most likely use are like Google Apps. So here you can um, search for, say, your Google Docs. So rather than, again, going to your Google Docs, and copying the URL, you could potentially look for that assignment right here. So that's a quick and easy way to embed a video. What uh, I'm a big fan of is Arc. So Arc is, is a, a tool that links with Canvas where basically you can embed, say, a YouTube video. And within that, that video, uh, students can comment throughout. You have the ability uh, to look at insights. You can see if your students have actually been watching it. Uh, I have another video describing how to use ARC, so if you're interested in that, check out our, that ARC video, that one cool thing video. Um, again, you can upload videos, so maybe you are going to record yourself, or you want to upload a media, upload a video. You can uh, upload a video you've already created, or even just an audio file. 
at that point, that's kind of it for all the different things you can do. You can uh, change the, the font, paragraph style. You can also check accessibility. You can see if there's, if there's a, an issue that, uh, that might come up. And uh, so combination of videos and links and pictures, even GIFs, if you upload a, a GIF instead of a picture, you can have a lot of really rich content here coupled with the right questions and you can uh, have a really in-depth uh, assignment or discussion or quiz question or even just a page. So it really gives you a lot of editing options and if you want to dabble a little bit with HTML, you can also play around with the basic HTML editor. So that's a quick overview of how to use the rich text editor within Canvas. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.